Okay, y'all. So I'm back. It's not a lot of things in life that we talk about, but I feel like the things that we do need to talk about that we don't. And I think it's important that we get a good understanding on what's going on with ourselves and what's going on with our partners. And by me saying that, I want to say that how do we stay true to ourselves without giving up on our relationship and losing ourselves in the process? I mean, I had, I was just thinking about it, you know. You know, I'd I be like, I, I just be sitting here like thinking about different little things, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I do a lot of, uh, like I told y'all, a lot of videos. And I like my videos to be authentic. I like them to be true. And I like, I like them to have everyday life meaning. And sometimes I be seeing people like, say that they go through different stuff and at the end of the day they go through relationships but at the end of the day they forget about themselves because they're in a relationship with this woman or relationship with this man and in the process they don't know how to maintain not giving up on themselves because you got to think about first come the kids, then come the men, and the same thing with the with the women. First come the women, then come with the men. It's like we was raised to be provider, but we wasn't raised to not lose ourselves in our relationships. So, by seeing it, how do we do that? Because you know, I think that the reason why I'm a, I'm gonna use myself as an example, y'all. I'm gonna use myself as an example. Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna lose myself an example. When I was in a relationship with my ex, I put my ex first, and because my ex put his, I don't think my ex put me first. Yeah, of course he gave me money, but I don't think that. He put me first. Then that he gave me money all the time. That that don't necessarily mean that everything's supposed to be okay with us. Yeah, it's cool that you being a provider, you being a provider. You take care of the household. You know what I'm saying? You make sure me and the kids have a place over our head. But at the end of the day, what about me? I need that that time alone and that safe. But when the man needs his time alone, he just think about his time. Do you get what I'm saying? He don't think about what the woman needs. He think about what he needs. And I don't think he think about is that his needs is more important than the woman's. And I think that's sometimes I wanted to say, I think that's unfair to the women. Because I feel like the women should have some time to themselves too because being a parent it's a job running a household is a job that's a job by itself and sometimes I used to say I used to say oh that's easy oh no that's not easy I think that you know parents or even just being a wife in general and not having no children should be able to get paid for it because it's a job by itself, but the husbands don't see it. The husband just think if I'm the provider, you need to have my bath water in or, and then you need to have my food on the table. No, what is this? So are we going back in slavery days? But as times progress and time has changed, now we're saying that the women are ruining the world because the women are getting paid more and they taking on more responsibility. Not only that they're because they're single, they're single parents out there. Not only they're 
running the household and taking care of their kids. They doing what they have to do to survive. But for them, this has been going on for ages and years to come. For me, this just not started going on. Because, yes, you do have some 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 fathers out there that, that's a single parent. You know, but you also have to realize for them, this this just started because for for uh, mothers, which is women, for women, it's been going on for ages. And what 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 was it? I remember when, and they talk about this a lot. This this this, come, this is an everyday topic topic about what people say is that it, this is because there's two parents in the household don't necessarily mean that everything is is a coincidence in the household because you still have the two parents uh arguing over finances. And then you grow, as you grow older, you say to your girlfriend, if y'all decide to ever get married, I don't want to be like them. I want something different. I don't want our kids to hear us arguing over finances. You know what I'm saying? Because back in, I remember back in the day, the parents used to argue over finances. You know, the water bill, the gas bill. I was going back in the day in ages where the father would go out and splurge. The man would go out and splurge with his homeboys or his home, or his friends or his male guys come back home knowing that the bills had to be paid. Nothing. But it was up to the woman to do what she had to do. And she did. She saved. She came in and she saved the day where her kids saved the day, I mean, where her kids wouldn't have to be sitting in the dark without any food or don't have no water where they couldn't take a bath. So I give it up for the women out there. So I think to me, in my opinion, I think the women is just start thinking, well, even though it's both of us in this household, it's still like we single. Because it's almost like she's still a single parent. She still, she raising the kids by herself. She do carpool by herself. She do everything by herself. You understand what I'm saying? And she's still taking care of the bills by herself. Because when he get his check, he goes out to either gamble or he goes out to hang out with his male friends. God knows what. And it shows you this in them reality shows all the time where these males be sometimes, I want to say, tricking off their money to them strippers. Where you used to be think in the back of your mind in reality, does that really happen? Where now they they showing you that it does. Look at love and hip hop. Look at Housewives of Atlanta. You have more. I think you have more di divorce rates than that. When back in the day. Like somebody said, I remember my grandmama saying, we was fighting to stay together. When in this day and age, everybody is just leaving, fighting to leave. They just want to leave. They just want out. They don't want to have anything to do with it. They don't want to have to deal with it anymore. And you know, as I was listening to what she was saying, I was just like, I can't, I can't not agree with her. But at the end of the day, but I say, I, I, I don't think I would want to be in 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 a, in a home with my husband and my husband's not helping me. Then I'm doing all the work 
And as I do all the work, he go out and play with his homeboys and other women. But I have to worry about the lights getting cut off. I have to worry about the water getting cut off. I have to worry about everything getting cut off. Where I have maybe like five or six kids, I have to think about. So I don't blame the women. For, for saying, okay, no. If we stand in the household together and I'm I'm doing everything by myself and it feel like already that I'm single, I might as well be a single parent and do just fine on my own. When they get out in the world, the, the, the women get out in the world, they be a single parent. They go back to school, they get a job, and they do what good for themselves. And this is what I don't get, y'all. The husbands see they do good for themselves, and then they get married. I think I was watching this one movie where it was called Intimate. Intimates. Intimates. Well, obviously, I think I want to say. But, quote, unquote, he left. He lied because she kind of found out that she was pregnant. <clears throat> he lied and said he couldn't have no babies. Then they came to find out that the guy, they both was really cheating on each other. And see, that's another thing in getting in, into a relationship and being married. I feel like if you have to cheat on me, why not just leave me? Let's, let's just do that. You understand what I'm saying? If you have to cheat on me, do the best thing and just leave me. Because I'm not going to stay in a relationship and cheat on you. And this is the thing with this movie. They have been together ever since she they was in high school. She loved him. She tried to put up with what he went to. He went to I Gamma, I Gamma Stan, that army over there where they was fighting for fighting the troops and everything was fighting. But he came back and lied to her and said that he couldn't have no kids. And he was messing around with this other woman and then tricking money out. See, that's what I'm talking about. And then kind of find out the woman's, I guess, friend, cousin, or whatever, find out the baby, the boyfriend that the woman was with now, that wasn't his baby. That was that baby's daddy. And he walked out on her. He just walked out on her. And I'm going to tell you what. He came over there one night. He came over there one night, child. And I say, this is why I say a real life story. He came over there one night. And he was drunk because he was angry because he felt like that the guy was in her house, laying up in her house, in his house. And he's with her. And he didn't think that she was going to move on. And she did. And he, I guess he ended up pushing her or whatnot. And the baby died in the hospital. She heard it, you know. And then afterwards, you know, because while he gone, she was getting herself together. You understand what I'm saying? She had opened up her own shop, her own skin shop, you know, but skin products. Her and her sister came to be partners. Uh... The guy name was Demetrius. That was the guy that she was with ever since she was in high school. I can't remember the other boyfriend's name, and I can't remember. We're just going to call him Ron, and we're just going to call her Liza. Yeah. So, and to come to realizing, you know, hey, but the woman Demetrius with now, she was a stripper because the salon where Demetrius' ex-girlfriend opened up was right across the street. And she was saying, and, and then the, and the girl was like, oh, it's so obvious that right after y'all break up, you open up this salon over here across the street for my job. Are you trying to get Demetrius back? Ooh, that is so. But then she said, child, I'm not trying to even worry about Demetrius. 
And she wasn't. She went on with her everyday life, letting Demetrius do whatever he want to do. But it, she had already said that the baby was Demetrius. She had already sit there and said it. But she also said when Demetrius left from Las Vegas when they was arguing and they and he came back, things wasn't the same. And he said that about her. He felt that she would she had cheated. Which she had did. She did cheat. You understand what I'm saying? But he also did too. And then when it was all said and done, after the baby was buried and everything, uh, they had the baby funeral afterwards. He came over there and said, you don't still love me? And she said, Demetrius, I can't. You have to work on yourself. You know, uh, I can't do it. And and the mom and them, they didn't interact with them at first. They was gonna they was because they was mad because the way he did he had just walked out. And the father said, I don't care what happened. Y'all had problems, that's fine. But this baby needs a father. And then Demetrius, because I guess his daddy walked out on oh, excuse me, I got my mom. Because his daddy walked out on him. He walked out on her. And they wasn't even saying if the baby was or not. Well, was his or not. They were just saying. But he claimed out the baby wasn't. Because he didn't want to be with her. He threw away his relationship with her to get with this other girl. And then the things that this other girl was doing. Oh, wait a minute. That was his, his ex-girlfriend named Danielle. When Danielle was doing uh, the cooking, the cleaning, everything, making sure his vest was where he needed to find it. But the other girl that he was with, the stripper, no, she was not like that. She was not going to pick up behind Danielle. But she came to the funeral to give her respect and said she know how she feeling because she lost the baby as well. She told Demetrius he had to get out of her house because Demetrius lied and said that he couldn't have kids. And she said, you just like all the rest of the men. And she said, I leave. Demetrius said, I leave because you wasn't doing nothing but using me anyway. And she told him, you wasn't doing nothing but using me too as well. So we was using each other. And that's the thing right there. And this is why I bring to y'all point. It don't have to be like that. You don't have to use nobody. Like I say, I feel like if you don't want to be with somebody, okay, you did what you did. You walked out. But at the same time, when you see them move on with their life, you know, and getting ready to prosper, God helping them prosper, and God bring somebody else into their life, whether they cheated with that person or not on them, on you, on them. <laughs> Sorry. You can't get mad because that person moved on. And now you want to go back. And you sneaking out at the house to look and see what she's doing. And it, it, she had him in the house. And uh, he ain't no constructor worker or no cable worker. He's a um, a corporate man. You understand what I'm saying? So, I see it. <clears throat> That's what happens with these men. They don't realize what they got until it's gone. And I think it's time for you to step back and realize, no, that's not what it is. That's not what you do. But I'm going to stop right there, y'all. So just remember what I said. If you're going to walk away, walk away for good. If you're not going to walk away for good, don't wait to this per uh, uh, after you walk away, you see this person with somebody else, and now you want to get back with them. You jealous. No, nah, don't do that. You know, don't do nothing to hurt somebody else because of your stupidity. Thank you.